Hey, what do you think about building today, Tommy? I'm thinking about building a beehive just like that to collect some honey. Really? All right. Have you ever done one of those? I've never. I've seen them, but I've never made one. Yeah, I never have either. It's all the parts are right here. Okay. All right, and it starts with this section right there. That's the landing field, but I also call it the basement. Okay. <laughs> all right. So we'll start by building that. Then we'll go to the box, build a couple of racks. We have an inside roof and an outside roof with metal flashing to keep it dry. Wow, this is complicated, I love it. All right. It is a little complicated. All right, let's get some wood and we can get started. I start by ripping the front, back, and sides to width based on the cut list I created. So what I need to do now is I need to make a rabbit cut or a lap cut right there for this to rest on. This will be the landing base for the bees before they get into the nest. And they've got two of those. There'll be a left and a right. Then I cut a dado on the left and right side to accept a thin piece of plastic. All right, Tommy, I'm surprised with how many pieces there are in the base, actually. I know. Well, this is actually a pretty important thing. First of all, it's going to hold the box and multiple boxes that will go on top of it. But it's also there, it's like a basement. It's going to take all the debris that comes into the house. And so if I take this apart, now these pieces here are just going to hide the screen that's going to sit on top to filter any of the debris that's going to go down to the plastic, the piece mm -hmm. of plastic that's going to slide in these grooves mm -hmm. like a draw to clean it out. Gotcha, so that's gotta be a bit removable. Exactly, and then right here is a landing field, because the boxes will be here, a landing field for the bees to land, and then they'll go in this little slot right here, and you can change the size of that slot by turning it like that, yeah, cool. so they have a smaller slot. But I hadn't considered the fact that they needed a landing field. Okay, yeah, yeah, so do. what, glue, screws? Yeah, we're gonna first up? glue it and tack it together, and then we'll screw it together. Believe it or not, this can get pretty heavy. Now we'll add the screen to the base using staples and then cut it to fit. Yeah, that fits. Nice. Look at that. All right, so now we have our four pieces that will make up the box. Cut, trued up on the edge. Now what I need to do to hold the pieces together, I'm gonna to use a half lap at the corner joints. And we also have to put a rabbit at the top for our trays to sit on. So first thing I'm gonna do is get the height of the blade, make that three quarters of an inch. And then I wanna come in half the thickness, three eighths of an inch. All right, so we'll just glue this up and screw it together. We'll use the pin nailer and tack this together. All right, so we're putting four screws in each corner, and we have a clamp in it. Sitting in the rabbit, we're able to pull the sides in, so if there's any bowing or cupping, and the screws will pull the outside board, this board. Whether it's cupped in the middle or bowed, the screws will pull it in place. All right, let's see if it fits. Here's the bottom. All right, lay it right on there. Even with the sides, even with the back. Very nice, very nice. It goes, so there's the box, the landing field, and the basement. All right, guess we'll get working on the racks. Okay. All right, that looks good. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is, this is a piece of two by two pine. All right, at the top of each one, I need to put a notch in it, something like that. Okay. All right, and so these that are, explains the dado blade? That's the dado blade. We're gonna cut them with the dado blade, and these are actually gonna be the uprights for the racks. They're gonna hold the cones to make the honey. Okay, it's awfully thick, though. Yeah, well, I can get three of them out of each one. So I'm gonna cut them this way, which will put a notch all the way through. Then I'll rip them down oh, individually yeah, for the pieces yeah. that I want. Gotcha. Okay, so I'll just, I'm gonna do three at a time. I made a little rack here, or a jig, to hold everything in place, and I'll push it through. Okay, so we have the notches cut on all of our pieces. The next thing I want to do is I want to rip these down to a thickness so I can get three equal pieces out of one. So I've set my rip fence, 
and I think I've done my math correctly. And I only want it so the blade just, just sticks through the top like that. All right, Kevin, I need to cut an opening on the bottom to allow the bees to go through. They like to have a minimum of three eighths of an inch. And to do that, we can easily do it on the joiner. What I've done is I've put a stop for the wood to go against. Then what I'll do is I'll take the stop, roll the board away, pull it out of the way, and do the other side. All right. So now, if you look at these and we put them together, so let's say the top would be uh, tight like that, which it will probably never be tight, but it should be a gap about like that. But you notice how much bigger the gap is at the bottom. So that's for the bees to be able to travel through? Right, the bees can travel through that space. And also for ventilation in there too. All right, so we have our four pieces cut to make the hangers for our wax pad right there for the bees to make their nest in. Cut the shoulders on each end using the table saw and a stop. And I raised the blade the height that I want and I made a series of cuts and then I went sideways to clean it up. Same thing on the sides. So that shoulder allows us to put it on the, what you're calling the wishbone? Yep, put it right on there, so nice and tight. One on one side. That locates it perfectly. One on the other. Yep, so there's our two sides. Okay. Okay, so now. Nice tight fit. All right. So now the bottom piece is just square cut on each end with a dado in the middle to match the dado that we put in here. Now to do that dado to center it, because it's just a little bit thicker than the blade, we offset the blade off center just a little bit, rotated the board around in that direction and cut the other amount equal on each side, putting the dado right in the center. And you say this is a, a wax panel here? It's like a wax cardboard, I think I read. And, they basically build their hive against it. Hmm. So now we'll just fasten this with some nails and glue, and that's all there is to it. And that's gonna hang inside of our hive right there. Right, exactly. Very cool, okay. Okay, now we're ready to assemble the inner top first. And we've cut all of our pieces. We have the length, the width, we have a data to accept the plywood, and we have our holes so the bees can get in and out and air can ventilate through the top. So the first thing we want to do is put the shorter pieces on the inside flush with the edge. I'll pre-drill a hole and we can put a screw in there. All right. This inner top will sit flush with the front, back, and sides of the box. Good. Okay. Get the other one on. Slide that in. Look at that fit perfect, Tommy. Nice. Now all we need to do is drill a hole in the top. Now we gotta do the top. There's a couple of diagonal blocks going in each corner. And what that will do is actually lift the roof off of the inner roof. And that way it'll let plenty of air to come in and out and the bees can go in and out. Okay, the next thing we need to do is make it watertight. So we're gonna put a piece of flashing on the top. So you just got a piece of metal here. Yep, this is aluminum flashing, okay. 24 inches wide, and this happens to be white, as you can see. We'll start from the bottom, and we take the box. Put that on there like that. Then we could put a stack of these in. We'll yeah. Nine of them, which is going to hang nine right there. Nine will go in there, just like that. And these will be spaced so three eighths of an inch. And then we have the inner top, which goes right here like that. So the bees can come in and out of these little holes right there go inside the hive, or if they come in the opening that we had around the perimeter, they'll get in here and go down there. And that comes on top like that. Just Look at that. Just like that. And the idea, I guess, is, is that this part right here, this box, 
you could build a second, a third, a fourth, and go all the way up. Use the same base, use the same top. Right, and there's a special screen that you put in between each layer that be keeps the queen in its place. I love it, Tommy. That is great. That's yeah, pretty cool. You gonna do bees in the backyard? I don't know yet. I'm pretty busy, you know. <laughs> nice job, honey. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.